All right, this one's a little bonus. Um, we're going to look quick at how to set up some parallax in our scene, which is a really sweet effect that lets your different background layers kind of move independently of each other. So to set that up, it's pretty simple. Um, go ahead and find the, in your scripts folder, we're going to go grab the um, parallax, background parallax script, which should be in the Google Drive. So go ahead and grab that. Um, and to get started, we're going to go to our main camera and we're going to apply this script right to our main camera. And if we open our main camera and look down here, we can see our different options. So first thing to think about is that for if I look at my background layers here, I got like my mid ground and my uh, kind of, you know, my mountains in the back. Um, the thing to think about is that for each of your layers that you want to like parallax with each other, you should have them all kind of grouped together. So let's say I want to expand these out a little bit. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to you know, copy paste, maybe bring them that way once, copy paste, bring them over here, same with my mountains. You know, I'm just extending them out both ways. So what I'll do here, remember if we want to kind of group things, we can um, create an empty game object and use it kind of like a folder. So I'll just call this backgrounds. And I'll take all my background assets and parent them under it. Then I'll create another empty, call it mid ground. And I'll take all my mid ground assets, place it under there. So now I have everything grouped together because I want everything on the background to move with each other and everything on the midground. So you can kind of do this for as many layers of parallax as you want. So now to set it up, I'm going to go to my main camera, down to my parallax, and I'm going to go ahead and in this background settings, this is where we select set the number of layers you want. So I want two layers because my midground and my background. And now if I press this little drop down, we'll see we have a number of slots equal to what we enter up here. And then, so element zero will be the one closer to the camera and then going back as you go down. So now to plug them in, I'm going to take my mid ground, the whole folder, plug it into element one, or sorry, plug it into element zero, and then plug the backgrounds. Oops, the main camera. Hold on, got a little crazy with the mouse. Main camera, take my backgrounds, plug it into element. Yeah, element one. So mid grounds, then backgrounds. And then as some base default values to plug in here, well, we'll go ahead and plug in one, five, and ten. And now, if I press play, we can see what it does. So now, as you can see, my background, my midground are kind of moving as I move, you know, independently of each other. So let's look at the settings now. So the parallax scale, let's say I up it to two, that that's basically like how much, you know, how see like each layer is moving much faster now. So that's like the, the amount of overall parallax you want. So if I likewise make this smaller, make 0.5, we'll get a more subtle effect. So you can kind of tune that in to how you want. Now, if I change my reduction factor, change it to like 10. This basically adjusts how much the parallax amount changes per layer. So as you can see, my midground's not really moving that much, but my background's moving a whole lot. So there's like a big difference between the two. But if I drop the scale factor down to like one and play, you can see there the, the difference between the two layers much more subtle. So again, you can start to um, tune that in. And then if I turn smoothing off, let's see how that looks. Oh, 
Oh, didn't like that. Put it to 10. It's moving at 10 by default, and that seemed to be all right. And what's it do at 100? Oh, interesting. So again, adjust, just play with these settings to get the different, you know, effects you want. But it's as easy as that to get a parallax effect going in your scene. Take your parallax script, apply it to your camera, add a number of layers equal to the layers you want, move in, plug them in, uh, front to back, adjust the settings. We got, uh, I think, a good some good defaults are like 0.5, 4, and 10. And then there you go.